Hey guys, Nebraska Farm Boy here, and a question that I get asked on occasion is how do I have the audacity to post videos on self-defense and training and whatnot when I haven't ever had professional training myself? Now, I'm not here to blast those people, I'm not here to say how dare you because it's a fair question, I only want to discuss it, I only want to get have a chance to state my point of view here. See, I never try to hide the fact that I'm largely self-trained. Uh, it probably stems a lot from being homeschooled most of my life and you know I have an independent streak running through me about a mile wide it's not you see I don't feel like I need permission to be a protector I don't need someone to tell me I can do something if I can do it I can do it and if I can't do it I can't do it and I need to work on that now that doesn't mean that I don't learn from everybody I possibly can no that's far from the truth. Everything I know has been learned from people who are older and wiser than me. I'm not trying to make up a new form of self-defense. I'm just trying to take forms of very good uh, established self-defense from people who are much smarter than me and mix them all into a form of self-defense that works for me. And if it works for you, that's great. If it doesn't work for you, then fine, don't listen to me. Now, another objection that is commonly raised is if I haven't had professional training, then if I post something, then somebody's going to watch that and they're going to go and think that they know how to defend themselves and I'm going to get everybody killed. Here's the problem with that logic. See, if anyone thinks that they can watch any video, no matter how good that video may be, and learn how to defend themselves, they're stupid. See, they are going to get themselves killed, and it won't be any fault of the YouTuber who posted that video. You cannot learn self-defense on YouTube, no matter how good those techniques might be. You have to train them, and I never tell you, ever, that my, that my videos teach you how to defend yourself. They don't. My videos are only meant to give you inspiration and maybe some helpful information on how to train to defend yourself. See, you've got to do, you've got to work hard in order to defend yourself. There's no shortcut to that. In order to be a protector, you need to be working towards that goal, and you need to be putting in hard physical work. Uh, see, I hear these things. People say stuff like. Um, uh, skills are more important than strength and uh, it's, it's all about technique and, or some people say it's all about strength and I say it's neither it's you've got to be strong and you've got to be smart that's all there is to it you've got to be as strong as the body that God gave you can be and you've got to be as smart as the brain that God gave you can be uh, in order to fulfill your God-given calling as a protector. That's just, that's that's the way it is. There's no shortcut. You can't learn self-defense by sitting on your couch watching YouTube. Boys, you are the only one responsible for being a protector. I'm only here to encourage you, inspire you, and to kind of help you along, show you the mistakes that I make. Uh, I can't make you into a protector. You're the only one who can do that. Nobody can make you into a protector. Don't let anybody try to tell you they can make you into a protector. You guys have got to do the work. Take it for what it's worth.